you know, there's so many areas of our life that we don't realize how much more we have in the tank, how much more that we're capable of, what our potential, where our potential truly ends. Your mind will take you further than your body can take you. And this is not a physical challenge. Yes, there are physical elements to it, a lot of physical elements to it, but it is a mental challenge and it is growing and stretching your mind to what's possible, to where your potential is. I've talked about this a lot throughout the first 75 hard journey that I just believe potential doesn't exist because your potential is infinite. And so if we wrap our heads around the fact that like, there's no such thing as potential and that the second that we reach what we think is our self-imposed you know, limitation of potential, it gets pushed out a little bit further because we have more and we have more and we have more and we have more and we have more. And so the whole idea of this challenge, the whole idea of life is going so hard every single day to push yourself as far as you can possibly go so that you're constantly chasing that potential uh, because it's infinite. But people often forget that the limits that we impose on ourselves in the business world and in our professional lives are the ones that are most important to continue to chase after and to exceed and to, uh, and to ultimately carry out further and further and further and further. And it's my belief that we do not know what we are truly capable of unless we are hitting and going for those self-imposed limits. But when you're in that emotion, which I've felt many, 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 many times of like, what if you're not reaching it? What that really means is what if you're not putting in the activity and putting in the effort towards chasing it? And I mean, that just starts with today, doing things that you normally wouldn't have done, um, stretching yourself, getting uncomfortable. So over the last five years, my business partners and I, we've, we've just been in this pursuit of seeking different ways to make ourselves uncomfortable. And some of those have been business related. Some of those have been personal, the, the cold showers, the you know, ice baths, the different things. Some of them are physical uh, with you know, exercise and, and things like that. But constantly searching for ways to get us out of our comfort zone. And to me, to answer your question, uh, Tim, the one thing that I, that I, seem, that I see as, as the most congruent, I think, outcome of those things is mental toughness. Yeah. And so that's the reason why I'm doing 75 hard again. It's to really ingrain those things in me, to ingrain that mental toughness in me, to ingrain that discipline in me, to where beyond the public accountability and not being able to fail publicly, I can be just as tough internally.